Welcome to the Showstopper Shows on Facebook, on YouTube. Yes, I am now putting all of my videos on Facebook, so make sure you go find me and like the Showstopper Shows YouTube videos on Facebook. That is my channel. Make sure you go check it out, guys. You know what this is. This is the new Witch's Brew Frappuccino. New from Starbucks. Limited time only. You know how they do it every year. They've had the Franken Frappuccino. They've had the Frappula. They have now done the Zombie Frappuccino. And this is the new Witch's Brew Frappuccino. I've read what's in it. There it's popping up on your screen. It is a new blended drink that has a purple blend of Toad's Breath, which tastes like orange cream frappuccino. The orange cream frappuccino, huh? Has a swirl of bat warts, the chia seeds, and it's topped with vanilla whipped cream with a dusting of green lizard scale powder. Oh, all right, let's, you know what? I haven't tasted it. I've only done a video for your viewing pleasure. Let's taste it. Oh! I like that. It's very sweet. That's my first reaction, a very sweet drink. But you know what else that reminds me of as I drink this in the pouring rain? Oh man. It says the orange cream frappuccino. It actually reminds me of more like a fruity flavor. And dare I say it, fruity pebbles. And I hate, I hate that that's what this reminds me of fruity pebbles. It tastes like fruity pebbles. Now I have to tell you, the guy that made this for me, was all about his Starbucks drinks. He loves his Starbucks drinks. And he said this reminded him of Fruity Pebbles. I was like, no way, dude. It's gonna taste like orange cream frappuccino, just like I've read about, just like it says. But no, he's right. It does taste like Fruity Pebbles. And is that a good thing? Yes. Oreo can make a mystery Oreo that tastes like Fruity Pebbles. Why not this? And it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. It's got a very fruity flavor. I didn't get any chia seeds in the drink that I took, so I'm sure it's gonna have to all kind of come together as I drink that. But I'm really enjoying that. He said it tastes a little better if you add some vanilla to it. So there's actually vanilla in the top and the whipped cream, but overall it's good. It's got about 50 grams of sugar in a grande. There's no caffeine in it. This is just a splurge, have fun, drink this beverage, and have a good time during Halloween kind of drink. So what do I rate this beverage? That is a show stopper uh, sizzle. Yes, for sure it is. The Witch's Brew, I'm gonna give a nice eight out of 10. It's not my favorite crazy one they've come up with, but definitely not the worst by any stretch of the imagination. I should say, I saw, let me swear I'm up to no good right there. All right, so that's my review of this beverage. Again, like I said, go to show, uh, go to my Facebook page and like my video. Also go to my YouTube channel. These people over here are looking at me while I'm doing this and I think it's hilarious. Like, you don't know what I do. But thanks for watching the Showstopper Shows. May the force be with you, may his presence be you always put a bow in this video because that is a wrap. The show stops here and never quit y'all. Guys, go get it. It's limited time only. There's the chia seeds. Or warts. Bat warts. Da, da, da. We ain't never gonna quit it. Yeah.